Hello everyone, this is Human Capital Education Chapter Part 5. In this part, we'll learn about signaling model of education. So, signaling model is little different than human capital investment model uh, because so far we assume in the human capital accumulation model, so far we have assumed that education increases a worker's productivity. So, that's how I felt actually. I entered college, right? Obviously, you enter college, you're all... A selected sample of people, you're already smarter than the average population, in my opinion. Um, but we assume so far, you enter the college, anybody who enters college, education increases your productivity. Okay, so it's like college, people are treated with college education, suddenly they are better. I felt like I was um, a much better smarter person having graduated from college and even more having uh, graduated from phd but we assume college education does that but um as a result your productivity goes up right education increases your productivity productivity goes up and then in turn it increases your wages okay Alternative theory, it's the signaling model of education, says that education doesn't increase one's productivity, but it's the sheepskin uh, effect. Sheepskin refers to the college diploma. Back in the days, they would print uh, any educational diplomas on a sheepskin. So, but college education is a sheepskin effect. Um, so getting that degrees, right, high school or college degrees signal that a worker is actually smart. Those qualifications signal that this is a smart person. So this theory says that college doesn't teach anything related to work. It just sorts uh, or separates smart from non-smart people. So let's take a look at a simple signaling model in this part. And in the next video, which you should be watching, we're going to work on a real signaling uh, model with real wage rates. Okay, so we're going to assume half of the people in the population are born smart. Their marginal productivity, marginal product of labor is two units per hour, whatever they're producing. And half of the people are born dumb. It sounds kind of mean, but smart and not so smart. So short shortcut of saying not so smart. We're going to say dumb. I don't. I don't approve this language, but we're going to use it, okay? So half of people are born down and, and their marginal productivity is less, okay? Half of the smart people. Assume that the price of output is $1 and value marginal product of a smart person is 2 times $1, $2. And value marginal product of a dumb person is only $1 because they produce 1 units of output plus each output is sold for $1, $1 value marginal product. Firms don't know who is smart, who is dumb, right? They ask a person, are you smart? If I'm smart, I'm going to say I'm smart. If I'm not smart, I'm going to be like, I'm smart too because my pay could be different, right? Workers, they do know if they're smart or dumb. This is called asymmetric information in the labor market. Workers know if they're smart or dumb, but the employers, firms do not know if they're smart or dumb. Let's talk about the first type of equilibrium, equilibrium, pooling equilibrium, where everybody is paid the same. Okay, so we are going to treat everybody the same, pay everyone the average salary. So what's my average salary? So half a population produces $2 worth of value marginal product and half a population produce $1. So average salary is going to be half a population dumb producing one dollar worth of value margin product and the other half is smart producing two dollar worth of value uh, margin product so every salary is their sum of the expected salary one dollar fifty cents okay so as a result if you are paying one dollar fifty cents dumb or low productive workers would like this employers and smart high productive workers would not like this right because your worth is two dollars and you're only being offered 150 i'm not gonna work so as a result if this is the case all the dumb workers will be running to get this job and you will get no smart people okay so employers uh, 
job firms will not like it. Smart people won't like it. Signaling equilibrium is a way to use college education as a signal. So high productivity workers have an incentive to signal firms that they're smart. Okay. College education or any diploma can serve as a signal for an individual's true ability. So you're going to pay $2 to college graduates and pay $1 for high school graduates. So I don't know if you're smart or dumb. I'm just going to pay you more based on your education. Okay, so can we construct an equilibrium that no workers or firms has an incentive to deviate from? Okay, so in other words, we want an equilibrium where smart people go to college and dumb ones do not go to college and work, workers are sorted into jobs accordingly and firms can hire smart people when they need smart people so assume that c is the cost of the college degree for dumb and c over two is the cost of college for smart people so as you can see c is a positive number cost of going to college is lower for smart people so if dumb wants this is how we this is how we calculate construct signaling equilibrium for dumb ones if they don't go to college okay they will be paid $1 because that's how much market pays to non-college graduates minus what's the cost of college. So this is return, this is total return, and this is total cost. Because they didn't go to college at all, they actually have total cost of $0 of college education. So dumb ones, if they don't go to college, they make $1, okay? If they go to college, Dumb ones, they are actually going to be paid $2. I don't care if you're dumb or smart. I'm going to pay you more based on your education. And cost of college is C. 2 minus C is the cost of uh, college education. So go, no college, college. Okay. So we don't want dumb ones to go to college. Dumb ones don't go to college if no college return is higher than college return so what's the no college return one dollar greater than college return of college education two minus c so if you pull c to the left hand side move this one to the other side as long as cost of college is greater than one dumb ones won't go to college so now we want smart ones to go to college so for smart ones, if they don't go to college, again, their return is $1 of earnings because they didn't go to college. We don't care if they're smart. Employers can't tell. Minus total cost, $1. And if they go to college, they get paid $2 minus the total cost of college education, C over 2 for smart ones. So I want smart ones to go to college. Okay, this is a, this is a separating equilibrium. I want down ones don't go to college, smart ones go to college. So two minus C over two greater than one, then smart ones uh, will go to college if college return is greater than one dollar. Okay, two minus C over two greater than one. We are gonna move C over two to this side, one to this side. So you have 2 minus 1 greater than C over 2. Okay, so this is 1. 1 greater than C over 2. You get this condition as long as C is less than 2, then the smart ones will go to college. Therefore, we put these two together. Signaling equilibrium, separating equilibrium says that as long as cost of college is strictly between one and two dollars one and two units of course it's not just one dollar we are simplifying the real life so if you do this kind of bracket that's going to be including the borders one and two but if it's regular parentheses it doesn't include one numbers one and two so signaling equilibrium says that as long as cost of college is between one and two dollars strictly greater than one dollar strictly less than two dollars no dumb will go to college and all smart ones will go. College serves as a signal. However, it's not going to add to the ability 
So if C is greater than two dollars, nobody will go to college. Or if C is less than one dollar, everybody will go to college. So college won't serve as a signaling equilibrium. So in part six, the next part, we are actually going to be studying real examples, real more real numbers, right? More realistic numbers. We're going to talk about a signaling equilibrium in education where there's Q proportion of people is Q uh, with low skill people making less salary versus one minus Q proportion of people is high skilled and they are getting $300,000 salary. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.